think about all the things that are going on in my body right now that allow me to sit here and talk to you. You know, I'm just completely fascinated and will be eternally fascinated by the mechanisms of how, how they work. So my research interest is in the area of childhood obesity, really. I'm a physiologist by training with a strong nutritional background. So the research in my lab is targeted to strategies to attenuate or limit that tendency from very early obesity. But it turns out that broiler chickens or meat type chickens rapidly deposit fat after hatch as they're growing. So they're what we call a dual purpose model because we can learn about the factors that can potentially be used to reduce fat accretion in chickens and save costs. And we can also learn about factors that may be used to prevent childhood obesity. This is really, to me, the epitome of the sort of full circle translational type research that we can do here, especially in Tennessee, where we have extension agents in every county. You know, we have the pipeline to take this information straight to, to the citizens. Our students and our faculty and our staff work hard every day, you know, to support uh, animals and people. I envision a One Health kind of scenario where veterinary medicine and medicine uh, are all working together to support this concept of providing care for all species. That's sort of a, a pipe dream probably of any researcher when you go into basic research is to actually you know, have something that you feel like could change the lives of others and, and especially children. And I know that that's a real possibility and that's what makes doing this in an ag environment so exciting and I think the Institute is extremely well equipped to, to take things like my very basic research to the end and to put it, you know, in this case, into the, into the, into the mouths of people in the state.